Since this venerable stadium was erected in the Pennsylvania Hills, it has been the home to toughness, to passion, to winning. Welcome to Happy Valley and Beaver Stadium, home to the Penn State Nittany Lions. Today, a Big Ten clash, and you know when you square off against a conference opponent, the blood boils a little hotter. As we'll see, the Washington Huskies taking on the seventh-ranked team in the land, the Penn State Nittany Lions. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. The Nittany Lions will put total leather to crank us up. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Huskies' offense will get the first crack at it here. And they're led out there by a man who will carry the ball plenty in this one, guys. Well, it's real simple. He's the best player on their team. They have got to force feed this guy the football, David. No doubt about it. The offense goes through him. Excited to see how they've built this offense and how many different ways they can get him touches. That's a really good looking run, too. And when you think back to Washington football, you talk a lot about the quarterbacks they've had in these great aerial assaults, but they've always needed to have balance as well. You get that by running the football, and this guy really helps keep defenses honest because they don't know what's coming at them. With a weapon like him in the backfield, he really makes this offense go. Dropping back, it's Rodgers. They get enough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. And the defense there goes zone coverage, maybe confused the quarterback a little bit, forced him to hold on to the football, and that allowed the pass rush to get home. This crowd full throat, splitting the eardrums and letting them know it's going to be a long day. Hand off from the gun. May not be the most memorable play of the day, but it's important as he gets him out to the 25-yard line. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. He's looking downfield to throw. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. You just got to wonder, too, guys, if the crowd didn't impact the offense. They're playing on the road on the first third down of this football game. Incomplete. The idea here, I think, just punt it away and see if you can regroup because this environment is hostile. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll call for the fair catch here. So Penn State's offense will take the field for the first time. And a big key as this game unfolds is just how aggressive will he be throwing the football in a lockdown corner like that. Yeah, and when you're an elite quarterback, you think you can do whatever you want to do. And you think you can make the right decisions. I'm interested to see how much they'll test that quarterback on the other side. You know, there's a saying, there's no defense for a perfect pass. But he's got to be extra careful and sharp when he's throwing that guy's way. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. They're looking for an advantage in the running game to the right. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. So I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. And now on third down after that last run. to throw. It's Aller. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. Well, the quarterback and his intended target just simply didn't have the timing there. The ball falls incomplete on third, now setting up fourth down. The Nittany Lions will punt this one away. He'll try to really get into this one.
looking for a block. It's Boston. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. The Huskies have it back, trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They get him stopped at the 32. That's a gain of four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Quick pass on the jet motion. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. And great recognition by the corner. That touch pass after he throws to the quarterback, it's a pass. He can't throw it forward again. Nice job understanding that, flying up, coming and making a big tackle in the open field. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Grab near the marker is Coleman. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you're throwing to running backs, you got to make it easy on them. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there, getting that first. The Huskies have it with a first and ten. From the gun, the ground game. Breaks the tackle. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. This running back just doesn't go down easy. It's just difficult for defenses to get him on the ground. Not a really huge, but if I'm an offensive coordinator, I'm going to continue to find ways to feature him and just, yeah, you know what, let his talent do the rest. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Just feeds the running back. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. They're facing a third down. It'll be a draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I think these draw plays are a little bit more predictable when it's third and more manageable as opposed to, to third and long. You can tell the defense did a great job understanding the situation, rushing the quarterback, but knowing that run could be an option, and they shut it down. The Huskies will be forced to boot it away. Second time today, they've been forced to punt. The ball hits at the five, and it'll go into the end zone for a touchback. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. Looking for a gap. It's Singleton. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. That's a really nice play. It's impressive. Well, it's first down. The defense thinks you might be running the football. You still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will into a mass of giant bodies. We'll call it a one-yard gain to the 24. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. Looking for a man. It's Aller. Coming at Lofts one high and deep. He's got it inside the 25. Touchdown, Penn State. Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. And man, is that perfect timing. You can tell quarterback drops back. He sees his guy and he knows he's open. But watch the throw. Deep down the field, Palmer. Right in the bed, bread basket. Nice play. Nice pitch and catch. He did a nice job getting it up in the air early and allowing his guy to run under the football, locate it, and then make a tough grab. That is the definition of an explosive play. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Quick strike offense on that three-way scoring drive. 
And they get it done with a big play, a 76-yarder for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the move from inside his five. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. They'll run it from the gun. Works his way ahead for three. They'll spot it at the 18. Got three on first down at second and seven. Looking for room. It's Coleman. Out across the 20 to the 21-yard line, a three-yard gain. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Back to pass, it's Rodgers. He's got his man. They'll move those chains, getting it out to the 29-yard line and trying to get this drive rolling. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. Couldn't find a lane, a pickup of one to the 31. You definitely want to commit to the run game. You want, you want to establish the run game. You want the defense to honor it. But if it doesn't work a little later down the road, you might think about airing that puppy out. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Nearly picked off there. And he might be the last guy on the field you'd expect to drop that one. It'll be third down. Great coverage, great break of the ball. Had a chance to really make a big play and maybe even take that thing back to the house. But you got to secure the catch. We like to hit people more than we like to catch balls. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And how nice is it to have the home crowd going absolutely bananas? Communication is harder. The, the snapping the football, everybody being on time. Man, this crowd really affecting the football. Washington sends out the punt team. Fair catch is made, but there is laundry on the deck, so we might be having a duel. Personal foul. Personal foul. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps this drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. After picking up a couple at second and eight. It's a reverse. He's knocked down in the backfield, a swarming defense, and he'll lose seven. And you gotta love this if you're the defensive coordinator because your defense stayed disciplined. They didn't over pursue to the running back, they stayed home, played great with their eyes, and they were able to make the time. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. Pocket starts to collapse. And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. It's really tough to convert in third and long situations like that. Not a lot of play calls. They're going to be going up against the coverage with a lot of dudes on the back end expecting pass. So they're going to have to do a better job the next time out keeping these third downs manageable. The Huskies will be forced to boot it away. On the return, it's Saunders. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Very little will make a crowd hold its breath like a pump return, and he brought them to their feet on that one. 
on the ground. It's Singleton. At the 45 on his way. They make the stop of this running game. Moves to change as they get the first down. Yeah, I'm so impressed watching this guy run the football. And I'll tell you, I think Joe Paterno would have loved this guy in his offense, too. His team's always prided themselves on being able to run the football, right? Be more physical than the opponent. This guy has the ability to just wear defenses down. So hard to stop. They'll leave it with him. They're trying to send a message with this running game. He stopped after a pickup of four to the 33. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited, and the fans aren't going crazy, but those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout so you get tired and get worn down in the fourth quarter. The play-action fake. Unloads it left. He's got an open man. Touchdown, Nittany Lions! Hold it in and just kept right on running to the Hallelujah Land. This offense is high octane, boy. You just saw it. Not a lot of time needed for them to go all the way and score six. Well done. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with a scoring toss from the 33. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his spot. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Huskies have it back, trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. Trying to get to it. And that'll be incomplete, man. That would have been a big hitter on first down, but second down's coming up. That's a great job by the DB playing the ball in the air. You see it all the time. DBs kind of get turned around. The wide receiver goes up and makes a catch. No, sir. DB, great position. Knocks the ball down for an incompletion. And the incompletion brings up a second down. Caught in the backfield. It's Hunter. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. During the week, you got to talk to your quarterback. quarterback. What do you like? What's your favorite, safest routes, easiest reads? Love coming out with those early with the short passing game. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Back to throw, it's Rodgers. He makes the connection. A little more space, open up that playbook even more as they pick up the first down out to the 30. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out, working on those critical down and distances. Third down. So having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. Wants to throw on first down. The short hands. It's Jackson. And with that stop, we are headed toward the end of the first quarter. We've come to the end of the quarter, and it's Penn State on top. And that was an impressive and dominant first quarter. Let's take a look at the stats before we move on. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. They're going to throw it again. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man downfield. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his run. Washington wants to go quickly. Going up top on first down. Caught in the backfield. It's Moore. 
And the big fella couldn't elude the cornerback who makes a sure tackle. Nice route right there by the tight end, making it real easy for his quarterback to find an easy completion. After the short completion, let's see if they go back to the air. Fast motion from the offense. Quick touch pass to the receiver. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. They'll snap it from the 28 in field goal range, but it's third and short. Scanning the field, it's Rodgers. Had it right in his hands in the middle of the field, and it trickled to the ground. It will be fourth down. Well, I think the ball just got on the receiver so quickly. He took his time working his round. By the time he got his head around, the ball was already there, and he just wasn't able to stab it. They'll try to salvage a field goal on this drive. And he's got to find the right combination of distance and accuracy from the right hash and 45 yards out. Never a doubt. After putting up a three Number spot, the kickoff five. unit set to go. Set to kick it off. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Get some work done there. Pick up a four to the 22. Solid pick up of four on first down. It's second and six. They'll run play action. Got his man quickly. And they knock him down, but he got past the line of the game. The number one goal as a defense is to try to hit the QB as many times as possible. Try to rattle him. Try to get him flustered a little bit. Nice job getting there, getting the hit on him. But nice job of executing by the quarterback. Taking the hit, delivering the strike. Now on first down from the 30. Running back searching for a hole. And he is stopped immediately by the big defensive lineman. It's an offense that takes pride in being physical. They try to get it going on the ground, but no gain on that one. Just nowhere to run. Not a lot of wiggle room for the ball carrier. This defense came in knowing that they had to match their physicality. Let's see if they can keep it up. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. Pressure coming. And the throw out to the sideline. Good for a few. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Unloads it downfield. Snags it on the right. They ripped off a big one, and they get it down to the 27. Man, if I'm a defense, i got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. i got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. The Nittany Lions come to the line in the hurry-up. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. They're about to run a dirty half dozen plays on this drive. 
They'll run it from the gun. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throat, and they gashed you. The Nittany Lions have it with a first and ten. They're going to ride this running back. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Penn State! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Follow the blockers. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time, Reese, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and you know, slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. It didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they're on top by 18. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they finished it with a beautiful 15-yard run for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. This is hardly the start they dreamed of down 21-3, but get a touchdown here and you feel like you're back in it, Jesse. Yeah, it's frustrating for this offense as well because they've got the horses, they've got playmakers to light this scoreboard up much more than the three points we're seeing here. I think you just got to stay true to yourself, do you, David, and know that the points are going to come. Well, it's also frustrating when the defense is giving up points almost every single possession. So they they need to score here and take this down and have a good drive, and then the defense needs to pull their weight a little bit, too. That'll be a gain of five out to the 27. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit home run. So why would you call it that? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. And the Huskies hit it quickly to the line. Looking to throw, it's Rodgers. He finds his man. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. That's a first down for the offense. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Comes out throwing on first down. Had it in his hands and he dropped it. Thought he had another big play and interception. He'll have to settle for the PBU. It's second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Quickly complete. They ripped off seven on that one. Now a third down and three. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside. Probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else. With him. He wants to throw it again. Catch in the middle. It's Boston. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. Just needed three yards on third down, and they got it with precision execution. Yeah, and the QB got the football and got that thing out of his hands. Nice job, nice slant, nice timing route. Throw it to the receiver, get it on his body where he can make the play and get the first down. Off the play fake on first down. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28. Part of the DNA of the Washington offense has been a guy who can get it done with his arm. 
And just finding a guy that makes everybody around you better, that can make the right decisions, that can highlight your skill positions, that's what get the Washington fans going crazy, going nuts, and that's when they have those great football teams. Incomplete, and man, is he lucky to get that one back defense that close to an interception. All right, well, the quarterback's showing you he is human after all. Finally throws an incompletion, and not just that, after a couple of completions back-to-back-to-back, to back to back, almost throws a pick. Here comes the offense on second down. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass D. And there's so much for a quarterback to think about. Stick it out in the belly. Do I pull it? Now when I pull it, oh, I got to get my feet set, make an accurate throw to the right guy. So a lot of things going on. And I think that you saw that led to a little bit of inaccuracy. They were really starting to put a drive together. And after a couple of incompletions, now they need a big play on third and ten. They're trying to get to it. Oh, he's going backwards in trouble, and down he goes. A tremendous loss. This is not going to get any easier. You're already down. You know it's passing situation, and you've got to protect your quarterback, and they can't do it. This has not been a great day early for this offense. Washington sends out the punt team. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Punt goes out of bounds, and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. Going to the ground. Sweet beat on the move. Knocked down after a pickup of three to the 12. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. To the air, it's Aller. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. Well, it was a good throw, it was a good route, but it was the hit that forced that incompletion. They couldn't make the connection on second down. Now a third and seven to keep the drive alive. From the gun, wants to pass. Got him downfield. And they'll spot it at the 38, and that'll be plenty for the first down. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. And the Nittany Lions getting set on first and ten. Using his legs, it's Singleton. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. I know the passing game sells, and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Can't get him to the ground. They'll finally drag him down, but not before he gets it to the 40, and it's a first down. And the Nittany Lions move the change with some signature hard-nosed running. Some Big Ten physicality, some Big Ten running the football. Got to have it. Got to start with that when you're in the Big Ten and when you're at Penn State. The Nittany Lions have their offense in high gear. On the move at the 30. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. You don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. Snap's going to come from the 23 on first and 10. 
After run, 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 now throw. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. And the big tight end, a lot of times that's a bigger strike zone, a bigger dude, and you could tell they put the hit on him, and that ball came out, and it came to the turf. Nice job playing physical by this defense. And last incompletion leaves him with second and 10 from the 23. Wants to throw. It's Allard. Finds his target down the middle. He was working his way toward that goal line. They'll stop him at the two after the big play up top. Well, this defense is being challenged, and this secondary in particular. And I know a DB made the tackle there, but we're only in the second quarter. And already, this quarterback has over 200 yards passing. This offense has been running wild in the first half, but wait, they want more before they go to the locker room. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Nittany Lions! Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point gives them a 28-3 lead. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Just into the end zone and he'll bring it out. He's brought down at the 16, would have been much better off to take the touchback. The Huskies have it back, trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. Boy, they've been caught in a buzzsaw here in the first half, but maybe a chance to carry some momentum into the break here. It all comes down to this drive right here, Reese. Obviously, this offense hasn't had everything go right for them in the first half, but here's an opportunity, David, to execute some plays, put some throws together, and generate some points. And you're right, Jesse, and this offense needs to start now. Like, we got to get some points on the board, create some momentum, and continue it, because you've dug yourself a significant hole. Looking to throw, it's Rodgers. Back, open in the middle. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. Looking to move it through the air. Got a man, it's Boston. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. He saw man coverage, and the idea, just get it to my receiver as quickly as I can and let him work, David. See man, and, and see the cushion, and see the guy backed up a little bit. Now I know I can get it to him right now and get a positive game. On second down, looking again to throw. He's got it. Major gaps in that defense, and he got loose, and they finally knock him down at the 41. We've got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. They'll throw it on first down. Gets it out quickly. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football, they play wide receiver basically for you, but you got to find a guy that you can throw it to, and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw, using the quick game. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. They'll use a timeout right before halftime, maybe time for one or two more plays. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. That thing would have hit a string in the middle of the uprights. Perfect. I know they're trailing going into the locker room here at halftime, but kicking that field goal gives them a little bit of a jolt, a little bit of a boost of momentum that they can carry with them into the second half, and there's a lot of football left to go here. I can't wait to see what happens.
That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. They finally make the stop, but that one will make those halftime stats look a little nicer as we head to the break. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Gentlemen, what a pleasure it's been to watch these two teams thus far there in Happy Valley. And the story of the half has been that elite corner. We were told he was tough to throw against. He's basically taken away an entire side of the field when he's out there, causing turnovers and getting physical. How often do we say that about lockdown guys and how this offense schemes against him in this second half will be fun to watch. And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside Beaver Stadium. Washington ready to kick off to start this second half. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. They'll open the second half with a run. Get some work done there. Pick up a four to the 22. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Picks his way and gets four out to the 27. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. To the air, it's Aller. He looks that one in nicely. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Shotgun fundamentals are so key. He was like a shortstop. Caught the shotgun snap and right away rifled it out of his hands like he was turning two. That was beautiful. The Nittany Lions will line it up on first and ten. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Grabbed in the middle, it's Fleming. That quarterback has a hose. That dude could throw it to a car wash and not get away. Great job of putting that ball on the line to his wide receiver. After that last completion, it's second down. Handoff to the single running back. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe that stop is a good sign for this defense. Maybe the defense is starting to figure it out. Obviously, offense has been running the football with so much success. Something has to change. That was a good start. Let's see what they do on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Wide open downfield. And how about that? What the doctor always ordered. An explosive play to the 40. It's all about critical downs and distances on defense. You want to be great unit defensively, you've got to be good on third down and in the red zone. For this defense giving up a third down like that, that is just a gut punch. The Nittany Lions are moving quickly down the field. To the ground with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. This defense obviously knows they've got to be able to stop the run if they're going to win this football game. And you wonder if they've been able to make some tweaks and adjustments to try and take this running back away. His drive facing a little adversity on second and 11. Now on the option. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
Yeah, and listen, the offense has had their way, and they've had so much success and so much production. But listen, at least the defense got a rep. You know, maybe this gets you some a spark. Maybe this gets you some energy. Maybe we'll see a little bit more life from this defense. Yeah, they may not win the game, but I think this defensive coaching staff at this point, based on how this game has gone, they're just trying to find things to build off of. And maybe that's something they can point to as they get ready for their next opponent of things they did right and things that they got to do more consistently moving forward. This is exactly why third down is practiced every single day. Third and short, third and medium, third and long. It's money down for a reason. You got to lock in. Great success by the offense so far on third down. Moving closer to the red zone, it's at the 27 on first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Allen. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. You know, you got to be careful as a QB throwing to your running back in man coverage. If there's a linebacker draped all over him, then that, that ball's not going anywhere. And you just saw it right there. Better play by the defense. After losing a couple of yards, it's now second and 12 as they try to keep this drive moving. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. They've methodically worked it down the field. This the 11th play of the drive, but the defense can get off the field now. On third and long, he'll need to push it downfield. He's off to the races. The Huskies just can't get off the field. And the defense has to be kicking themselves for allowing a first down there. You're just maybe going to give them a few yards and let them set up for a field goal. Instead, you let them move the chains, and now they're knocking on your door first and goal. After another clutch third down conversion, it's first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Well, this defense obviously knows they have to be able to stop the run now in the second half if they're going to win this game. And you wonder if they were able to make some tweaks and some adjustments at halftime, maybe getting some more bodies close to the line of scrimmage to give themselves a chance to come back in this game. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. They've gotten pushed back, but it's still third and goal. Looking to throw, it's Aller. Touchdown, Penn State! And the beatdown has ensued. Yeah, how about the offense? They spread them out. Everybody spread wide. Easier to read a defense when you do that. They find the matchup they want, and they get rewarded with the score. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point is good, and the lead is 35 to 6. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive. And they finished things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now, they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field. I think if you want to take the next step, too, here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. 
Wide receiver shows motion. Dialing up a second down pass play. Grabbed behind the line, it's Jackson. Ripping off a pretty good chunk of yardage. They've got it out to the 41 with a first down. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. They'll put in play from the 41 on first down. He leaves it with the back. Good pick up there as he gets the first down, and they'll mark him at the 48. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set as he's able to rip off that one for a first down. Washington coming to the line with another first down. Motion from the offense. To the air on first down. Oh, he drops the football. He had it right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. That's what I'm talking about. That is how you close. And when a guy's going to make a catch, you make sure he doesn't make it. Physicality, using your pads, running through them. And guess what? Not only this play does he feel it, next time he tries to go over the middle or feels footsteps, this will pay dividends. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, going up top. The throw to the outside is complete. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. Guys out of the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You gotta be versatile. I gotta be able to trust you in the pass game, and I gotta be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. I know you're gonna catch it, and I can depend on you. Moving into scoring territory at the 36 on first down. Looking downfield, it's Rodgers. A strike downfield. Touchdown, Huskies! And once he got loose, it was all over. He does a really nice job getting the snap, getting the ball to his wide receiver in stride so he continued to run full speed and make all those yards after the catch and get all the way to the end zone. Getting set for the point the after. Is on for the, extra point. the extra point is good, but the lead is still huge. It's 35-13. That is an efficient drive. Seven plays, 75 yards. And they get it into the end zone on a 36-yard touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. Now on first down from the 28. They'll give it to him again. They make the stop after a gain of three to the 31. Small gain, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him out of the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. Got three on first down at second and seven. Dropping back, it's Aller. Snags it over the middle. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. I'll tell you, man, I love quarterbacks that have arm talent, but that can throw it accurately at the same time, and you saw all of it on that in route. First and 10.
One man in the backfield, and he gets it. He got a bunch of look close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. I think Jesse and Reese could call offensive plays for any team if they're having this much success on the ground. It starts with the ground game, right? Like, you can chew up these kind of plays, then I can play action later on and take shots. But right now, defense has first got to stop the run game that's been chewing them up. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Fires to the middle. It's caught. And he's brought down after a nice game. His quarterback has been really good today. He's been on top of it, seen things really, really well. That pass right there put him over the 300-yard mark. That's a pretty good day. From the 33, it's first and 10. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Leaves it with the back. And how about the work up front by that big defensive line? The running back has had as much success as this guy's had so far. Listen, defense has got to cue in. They got to cue in to him. He's priority number one, number two, and number three. That's a good start to maybe turning this defensive effort around. We've come to the end of the quarter, and it's Penn State on top. They built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we got here. One more quarter to go, and it looks as if we are ready to play. Balls at the 25. They're in field goal range, but they love to convert this third and short. Nice move to keep running. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just keep running the football. Everything is going according to plan right now. They've been able to stay on the field. They put some nice plays together back to back to back, and they're bleeding the clock. This is exactly what you practice for for situations like this. Just keep doing what you're doing. A little too anxious along false that offensive line. Right, That'll be a false start. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Here's the handoff. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did, be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. On the run, it's Singleton. Picked up maybe a yard. It's down at the 16. They'll snap it for the 10th time on this drive, but they need a chunk on third and long. Fires to the middle. Gets it into the end zone, but there's a flag down. We'll see if this one is coming back. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Just outside the red zone at the 21, but it's third and long. Shakes off a tackler. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Now, fourth down. And on fourth down, Number here comes the field goal unit. Field goal. The holder will kneel at the 24, a 34-yarder coming from the right hatch. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And they'll push that lead down a little further. Just 
keeps getting fatter and this kickoff team doing a little running. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Huskies have it back, trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Snagged in the middle, it's Moore. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. It'll be first and 10 from the 30. He's looking to throw it. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. And I tell you what, this defense, they've heard all about how great this quarterback is. They came in today with a mission, with a purpose. They've been flying around, harassing him, and making life so hard on this offense. Not a lot of productivity on that last play. They'll try it again on second and long from the 23. Wide out in motion. Back to throw. It's Rodgers. Feeling some... And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. As a defensive guy, you chase, 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 and you always want to get to the quarterback. You know how to make it a little bit better? Get to him and cause that fumble. Man, there is nothing better. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. So last time, David, they ate up some clock, ran a bunch of plays, but settled for the field goal. Yeah, but they're still up, Reese, and I like where I'm at. And if I'm on offense right now, my job is to put another long drive together, eat more clock, and get oh, another oh, score. Oh, Just got to be better in the red zone this time around. When they get down close to the goal line, you need better execution to put a touchdown on the board here. On first down, here comes this offense. One back in the backfield. He gets to carry and he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Man, nowhere to run on that play at all. About all you can say is do better. But that's the problem. Are they able to do better? And that's why you keep trying things, right? Keep trying to get on the perimeter, run it up the middle, try different things to see what you do well. They'll go to the counter play. Nice move to stay on his feet. Working his way and keeping those legs moving. Picks up five down to the 14. They showed this run in the first half, right? You saw it. They loaded up on this side, ran the football, had some success. What do they do in the second half? Pull some guys, run the counter the other direction to keep the defense off balance. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Fourth down. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. Absolutely perfect. And that will extend their lead even further. Give the defense a ton of credit in this sudden change situation. Their offense just coughed it up. And this defense comes out, and they go three and out and force a field goal. That's a win if you're on defense. Team's getting some work. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. This one feels as if it's starting to get away from them a little bit, Jesse. Yeah, Reese, there's a lot of teams in college football at this point that would just quit. So, David, we're going to find out a lot about this team right now. Yeah, just running out of opportunities. You, you give opportunities away like this, you're trailing every possession. is going to be important from here on. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. Back to throw, it's Rodgers. 
makes the grab over the middle. And he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. I'll tell you, for this defense, they're going to have to find a way to bracket the slot receiver because of how athletic he is. They're going to need to make sure they've got linebackers and DBs surrounding this guy at all times. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. He wants to throw. That's caught. It's Coleman. And they pick up just a few on that completion. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You've got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. And you're going to win this game. And now on second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Good timing on the quick out. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Out of bounds at the 50. First down for the offense. This Washington offense moving quickly down the field. Trying to find his man on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Boston. And if you had any questions about this quarterback's arm talent, now you've got your answer. Wow. Got some of the work done on first. Now let's see what they have on second down. He's looking to throw. They're bringing heat. Nowhere close on that one as he got thrilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. This offensive line is not going to like watching the film back uh, tomorrow when they get the opportunity because they have got the time and time again up front, especially in passing situations. All of the hits, all of the sacks this quarterback has taken is the biggest reason why they're going to lose this game. The quick out. And you can see the offense just feeling itself. They've got it down to the 21. And, man, this quarterback has had a day. With that pass, he goes over 300 yards on the day. Really nice job executing, putting up some yards today. Pretty good day for the young man. Washington has it and a fresh set of downs. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. Well, in that down and distance, you're probably expecting them to throw it way down the field to get the first. Instead, they go push pass, and they did catch the defense off guard. And even though that was a big explosive play, David, they still didn't have enough yards to get it. Well, and catch me off guard is relative. That's what you would say, the offensive player. I would say, listen, we're playing a little bit deeper because we're not going to give up a first down. We react to the short stuff, and obviously that's a quick, easy pass from the offense. Rally up, make the play, live to fight another down. No reason to panic when you see those extra bodies coming. Just find the big tight end. Well, and the great ones do that. The great ones are okay. You want to blitz? I know my answers. I'm all right. I'll stay patient. Find the matchup. This time it was the tight end. Finds the tight end. Throws a strike. Gets the first down. Touchdown, Washington. And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. Yeah, nice pitch. Nice catch. And listen. Maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to, and this offense has struggled, and you're down by a 1,000, but I like that they continue to fight. Ready to try the point after. Splits those uprights right in half. So that was a 10-play, 75-yard drive. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. They're down big, but they'll keep fighting to the bitter end and line up for the onside kick here. They were ready for the onside kick and executed perfectly, and they secure the football. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. 
Yeah, and I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It's a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack, get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game to win. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. On the run, it's Singleton. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. Now on third down after that run. They'll run it to keep this clock grinding. Offenses gain momentum with third down conversions like that. They've got it at the 25. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here late. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. And he's stuffed by that big defensive tackle up front. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Stop is made, but he picks up four yards down to the 21-yard line. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. Facing third and long from the 21 and hoping not to settle for a field goal. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Fires to the wideout. Finds a man in the middle. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. Really nice job there of the quarterback reading coverage. He knew exactly where to go with the football and at what exact time. Timing could not have been better. They get the completion on third down, setting up first and goal. The Nittany Lions line it up with a first and goal. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. With the run on first and goal. Moving toward the end zone, ball out! Defense falls on the ball, gonna be a turnover. Now, what a missed opportunity for this offense. They had a chance to get points. Now they turn the football over, but if I'm this defense, I'm ready to roll. I got them in the black zone. They gotta go the length of the field, see if I can go make something happen and get this ball back to my offense. The Huskies have it back, trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. This has been a really disappointing performance, David. No question about that. But they can find some positives. Yeah, and every time you watch the tape, you know, Jesse, coaches are pointing out, look at this. This was open if we just ran the details to the right route and hung on to the football. Little things can make a big difference. Yeah, that's why they call it a game of inches, David. But I'll say this. If you're on offense... Don't go on social media this week. It ain't going to be pretty after this performance. You've got to lock in. you got to take the week of practice very seriously and find those positives that you can build off, David, you're talking about. Almost had the completion. Just missed it. Well, the tight end's a guy that's going to have to be able to make plays for this offense in the passing game. That time, QB looking for the big fella. He ran a good route, just couldn't reel it in. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Looking to pass, it's Rodgers. Getting some heat. The heat got to him, and he just sort of froze and got tackled in the end zone for a safety. Oh, and how about this defense? Understanding where they are in the field, they got a chance to put points on the board, and they do. Safety, they'll kick it away from their own 20. 
bringing it back it's singleton nice return there and he'll be dragged down at the 34. penn state sends the offense back onto the field and now one of the most satisfying moments in football just watching that clock drain away while you have control of the ball jesse and this is definitely one of the best play calls right for an offensive coordinator get ready to go into victory formation so many good things happen today it seemed like everything he was dialing today david ended up working out no doubt they put a lot of highlights together put a great offensive game together Can complete football game they get the win on to next week now they'll line it up from the 44 on first and 10 right back to the well and that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three and this is exactly where you want to be as an offensive coordinator. Like, when you've got the lead late in the football game, just run the football, eat the clock. Man, they put a good day together. They, they, they've, had a, they've had their way with this defense. A lot of positive things to point to. This is one of those weeks when you watch tape, it's going to be really fun to watch it. Not like when you get beat up. A lot of big plays from this offense. 